welcome to what I would deem the most incredible event that I have ever participated in, in the time that I have been in public office. This is an incredible opportunity. And just from what I've seen tonight, I think that it is very clear that there is hope for unity in the United States of America. It is an incredible pleasure to be here with all of you tonight at the South Florida Israel Summit. Christians and Jews stand united for Israel. I'm especially delighted to be here with my friends and colleagues, Congressman Ted Deutsch and Congressman Mario Diaz Ballard, who has just joined us. Both of whom, both of whom are stalwart supporters of Israel. And I do want to just take a point of personal privilege. The, uh, the, the two gentlemen who, who sang at the outset, the Star Spangled Banner, Lou Gatlirio and my cantor, William Lieberman, the cantor of the Naive Synagogue, where I am where I am. It was absolutely incredibly beautiful. Thank you so much. As cantor Lieberman always is. I want to thank the Jewish Federation of Broward County and the Broward Pastors Network. This is a historic initiative, bringing together advocates and leaders to combat the insidious campaign to delegitimize Israel. We are here today to learn more about a subject that is close to all of our hearts, the state of Israel and the pernicious attempts to denigrate our Jewish homeland. As you all know, the special friendship between the United States and Israel is a sacred bond that must be protected. And all of the organizations and individuals involved in this summit's work work tirelessly to guard that bond. As the first Jewish woman to represent the state of Florida in the United States House of Representatives, I am thrilled to bring my love of Israel to work with me every single day. Since 1948, when the U.S. became the first country to recognize Israel, we have always stood by Israel's side as her strongest ally and friend. Sixty years ago, President Truman began a long and rich tradition of trust and partnership with Israel that continues to thrive today. And it is particularly fitting that the Deputy Minister, De Deputy Foreign Minister Danny Ayalo, who has joined us today. Thank you so much, Deputy Minister. It's been a pleasure to work with you for many, many years. And I welcome you to my congratulations to South Florida. During that time, Israel has blossomed from desert sands into a shining example of economic progress and cultural diversity, all while under the threat of attack from hostile neighbors and global, a global delegitimization campaign. And unfortunately, that delegitimization campaign is alive and growing. We see it on college campuses here in America and abroad, in the media, and in the halls of the world's international organizations. It is not only Israel's neighbors who fail to recognize the legitimacy of the Jewish state. Unfortunately, Israel also faces vicious smear campaigns and anti-Semitic vitriol from a surprisingly wide array of members and global institutions like the United Nations. In the face of these attacks, I am so proud that the U.S. government has stood strongly by Israel's side, and as long as I and my colleagues are members of Congress, we promise you that we always will. Lately, and there are many divisive issues in front of the U.S. Congress. But when it comes to our when it comes to our support of Israel, we are unified and work arm in arm. I'm so proud. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are all here standing in support of Israel, and tonight that is the only thing that this evening should be about. The only thing.
Congress and the administration have supported billions of dollars of U.S. aid to Israel, funding projects to ensure Israel's safety and safeguarding Israel's qualita qualitative